hello and welcome from python code buddy today we will cover our python machine learning tutorial where we will cover getting started with machine learning supervised and unsupervised machine learning first we will cover the machine learning framework machine learning problem basically considers a set of n samples of data set and then it tries to predict the properties of the unknown data from the same data set. A data set is nothing but a collection of data. Say here in this case x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 going up to the nth data x and y n. A data set generally has two main components. First of all, it's the features which is also known as the predictors, inputs or the attributes and they are simply the variables of our data like the x1, x2, x3, the x coordinates and then the response also known as the target level or the output. This is the output variable depending on the feature variables like the y1, y2, y3. Now training forms an important part of the machine learning framework. The idea is to give the machine learning model a set of inputs and its expected outputs such that after training we will have a model that will then map the new data to one of the categories trained on the last part of the machine learning framework is the prediction which is like once our model is ready it can be fed a set of inputs to which it will provide a predicted output so in our earlier series example of x1 x2 y1 y2 x3 y3 our aim is to predict y n when we are given the xn set of data learning problem falls into two categories supervised learning and unsupervised learning now a bit more detail on the features or the input portion a feature is an individual measurable property of our data a set of numeric features can be conveniently described by a feature vector. The features are also known as predictors, inputs or the attributes. And they are simply the, also the variables of our data. Feature vectors are fed as inputs to the model. For example, in order to predict a fruit, there may be features like color, smell, taste, etc. Then uh, we cover a bit more on the target or the output or the response. A target variable or label is the value to be predicted by our model. For the fruit example discussed above below, in the feature section, the label with each set of input would be the name of the fruit like apple, orange, banana, etc. Response is also known as target level or output. This is the output variable depending on the feature variables. We generally have a single response column and it is just and is represented by a response vector y. y is a common notation to represent the response vector. Now another important part of, of the machine learning framework is the training set and the testing set. So machine learning is about learning some properties of a data set and then testing those properties against another data set. A common practice in machine learning is to evaluate an algorithm by splitting a data set into two. We call one of those sets the training set on which we learn some properties and we call the other set the testing set on which we test the learned properties. For example, like there are, uh, we have got say 100 set of data. Uh, like we use uh, the first 80 sets as a training set like 80 pairs x1 x2 x2 x3 x3 x4 continuing till x80 y80 and after that we test uh, the model on the testing set which will be say from the 81st set to the 100th set and after the training and the testing is done on the model then the model is ready for doing actual prediction now we come to supervised uh, learning supervised learning is like uh, a computer is presented with an example inputs and then the desired outputs given by a teacher. And the goal is to learn a general rule that maps inputs to outputs. Like 
uh, two examples of supervised machine learning is classification and regression. A bit more on the regression. Regression is a supervised learning problem but the outputs are continuous rather than discrete. For example, predicting the stock prices using historical data. Another example will be prediction of length of a salmon fish as a function of his age and weight. And you train the computer with historical market data and ask the computer to predict the new price in the future. This applies for the stock price. And if the desired output comes of one or more continuous variable, then the task is called regression. Then on classification, classification problems are like the sample belongs to two or more classes and we want to learn from already labeled data how to predict the class of unlabeled data. Inputs are divided into say two or more classes and the learner must produce a model that assigns unseen inputs to one or more of these classes. Examples of classification problems are spam email, spam filtering where the inputs uh, are email or other messages and the classes are spam and not spam mails. Then image classification, like you train the model with images slash labels. And then in the future, you give a new image expecting that the computer will recognize a new object. And lastly, another example is handwriting digit recognition or the OCR in which the aim is to assign each input vector to one of the finite number of discrete categories. Now we uh, touch upon the unsupervised learning. Now in unsupervised learning, no labels are given to the learning algorithm, leaving it on its own to find structure in its input. The goal in itself is to discover hidden patterns in the data. Examples of unsupervised learning is clustering. You ask the computer to separate similar data into clusters. It is used for clustering population in different groups. Then you have high dimension visualization like use the computer to help us visualize high dimension data. And lastly, you have generative models like after a model captures the probability distribution of your input data, it will be able to generate more data. A bit more on clustering part. As you see, clustering a set of input is to be divided into groups. Unlike in, however, unlike in classification, the groups are not known before that making this typically an unsupervised task. Like data points are divided into green, red and blue in the right after the uh, clustering algorithm is run. So thank you and we uh, will take further more detailed uh, uh, videos on each of the sections of supervised and unsupervised learning. If you like our content, request you to please subscribe and give us more comments so that we are encouraged to do more videos for you. Thank you.